Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the discriminated unions in TypeScript. Discriminated unions are combined of two words, the discriminant, which is the different part, the distinct part in, uh, in the thing, and the union, which takes all those different parts and combines them, unions them. In TypeScript, you can create discriminant types, uh, union them, and then distinguish between them using the type guards. Let's assume we have some kind of server and we uh, make a request to the server and it returns to us objects, which are animals, and we distinguish between the animals using the kind property, which tells us what kind of animal is it. So let's create some interfaces for those objects which we'll handle on our uh, client side, which can be either another server, which can be a service, or uh, the browser. So let's create an interface interface for a cat, which will be a kind of, which will have the kind property set to cat, and uh, which will have another property, number of lives, which will be a number. Okay, uh, this is a little different interface from what you're used to seeing, uh, because you don't uh, see the type of the property kind, you see the value. So every object which has a property kind and property number of lives, which the number of lives is number and the property kind is a string of a cat, will be of interface cat. The same thing, I'm gonna create an interface for a dog, which will have a kind dog, and we'll have a property is barking on strangers, which will be a boolean. Okay, so after we created those uh, interfaces, let's create uh, a type, okay, a type of an animal, which can be, can be either a cat or a dog. And uh, what I want to do now is handle a an object which is an animal. So let's create a function uh, which will be tell a fact, okay? And I want to be told a fact about an animal and it will return a string. So what I'm gonna do here is actually uh, I'm gonna use a switch on the animal.kind, okay? TypeScript is smart enough to see that either a cat or a dog, it's, it's a union type. Uh, if you don't remember what union types are, you can watch an episode about this in the top right corner of the video. So it knows that the common property of either a dog or a cat is the property uh, kind. So it, uh, it auto-completes it. And now I can check uh, if the if the property kind is equal to cat, now I can return, okay, the cat has, okay, and this is the cool part, dot, now TypeScript, because of type guards, and if you don't know what type guards are, you can watch an episode about it also. So, uh, because of the type guards uh, in the switch statement, the TypeScript knows that the animal with the property kind equal to cat has to be of the interface cat. Therefore, it must have a property number of lives. Okay, and it also shows me here that an animal is a cat. So now I can use it. Has a lives left. Okay, and in case it's a dog. I'll return the dog does and here I will add an, a not only if it is barking on neighbors. If, if it is barking on neighbors, I'm sorry, I will not add a not, otherwise I will add a not and barking, sorry barking on strangers 
So if it is barking on strangers, it will turn the dog does barking uh, does bark on strangers, and if it doesn't bark on strangers, it will turn the dog does not bark on strangers. Okay. Now there is something very strange here because TypeScript doesn't scream at me uh, when I'm not returning something for an object which is not a cat or a dog uh, because I'm returning undefined and string can handle undefined you can avoid this behavior by setting the strict null check flag in the TS config uh, I will not do it um, simply because I won't do it uh, no reason but I will show you uh, another thing that can be bad with it so before I do it let me just run a quokka on this file Quokka on current file, where is it? Here. Okay, and what I want to show you is what happens when I tell a fact about a kind cat, and now a number of lives is nine. Okay, let me just move it here. So the cat has nine lives left, and the same thing I want to do for a dog, and it yells at me that it doesn't have the property uh, is barking on strangers and let it be false. So when I do it, when I do it, yeah. Quokka should tell effect and it doesn't tell effect. I'm not really sure why. Okay, what's wrong with it? The dog does. Maybe it's not evaluating this prop. Ah, oh, no. It's, it should be okay. So let me just do it otherwise. Const is barking and I will do it like this. And now it works. I don't know why. Uh, so the dog does not bark on strangers. So what happens if I want to, uh, for example, add another animal, export interface cow, kind should be cow, and I will have it drink something, okay, and what I want to do, I want to log, tell a fact, about a cow which drinks water okay uh, but uh, now uh, the cow is not an animal so I will add it to the animals okay and what happens now is you can see here that I have an undefined because it is not a cat, it is not a dog and TypeScript doesn't yell at me and doesn't tell me there is some kind of error inside the switch case that I'm not considering all the cases. So I want to make something uh, that will pinpoint, that, that will tell me that I am missing an animal here. So the way I can do it is actually create a function, assert never, which will return, receive an object never and return never. What never is, is actually a type in TypeScript, which means it has no values and it is a little bit different from undefined null and void because it means that there are no values. Null and defined is a value, and you can think of a void as a value. 
That never means it is a type without a value. Uh, and when you look here, this should mean to you that this function assert never should be should never return an object. So uh, I will throw an error. Uh, was uh, called uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, with an object. Oh, okay. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, use a default case. <clears throat> and in this case, I will return assert never with the animal. So what happens here is that the object that assert never expects should be of type never, which means it shouldn't have any values. But the animal is actually of type cow, which has values. So TypeScript now yells at me that the cow is not a animal to never. And how does it know it is a cow? Because it is not a cat, it is not a dog. And TypeScript excluded the cat and the dog from the type animal, from the union type animal. And it knows it is only a cow. So this way, when I add another type of animal to the type animal, TypeScript will yell at me, will uh, yield an error, and I will need to handle this case of a cow. And once I handle it, uh, the cow drinks uh, whatever it drinks, uh, animal.drinks. Once I handle it, assert never will not yield me because now the animal is a type which which is never meaning all the types uh, that could be appropriate for the animal are handled now. So uh, now you can see that our console log prints the, the cow drinks water. Okay, as we expected. You have watched an episode about discriminated unions in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more types of videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to watch more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Program Artist.